Hello! How are you guys doing today? How's life? So last episode I said that I'm going to dig towards the dungeon and well, I did. Can you guess what is the problem? Look at the crazy amount of mobs. But don't you worry, I have an idea. We need to sift a teeny tiny bit more gravel and by sifting I meant washing. The gravel should give us enough diamonds for what I want to do and now we need some sand. It's not great for my hunger. Very good, we're getting a decent supply of gold. I thought berries are not going to cut it. Uh, let us get two crooks. You should have a better chance of getting apples with this. Yes, you do. Yes, we have more gold. Uh, give me my stone and a decent supply of apples. Oh, we have plenty of sand. Okay, I can sift those. And by sifting, I always mean washing. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a few blocks of gold. We have two, this is three, and we can have a fourth one. So here it is. Mega torch. If there are spawners over there, it's not going to be effective, but if it's just only mobs, that should get rid of them. Because with all those creepers, if I go in, I'm dead. And ironically, there are no mobs. But they are spawning, okay. We put you here, we run away. I'm really hoping they have botania, yes, okay, <laughs> that's great. I'm not used to walking this slow. They should have despawned, we go in. I mean, then again, there could be spawners, but I don't think there is a creeper spawner. Maybe there is. Yeah, there are still mobs. Why? Also, I don't really know if it's up, it's down, it's to the left, to the right. Yeah, we're on it. It can't be lower than this. Ah, who knew? It can be lower than this. Oh, there are spawners. But the good part is, as long as we're here, uh, the berries are going to grow. Oops. Oh, there are creeper spawners. Okay. Okay, these are dungeons, but where's the loot? I used all of my torches to get here. I have only one left, which I stole. But at least that could be loot. Baby zombies. Armored versions. With a sword. You don't like to die, do you? I just want to see one chest. Then we come back. Okay, they're all loot. We have to go and bring more torches. The mega torch is not going to stop the spawners, but in any case it was out of range because that's 64 blocks down and I think that is the maximum range of the mega torch. Even if it doesn't work on the spawners, at least it should help us a bit. It's very dark there. And those crazy mobs from Ars Nebu, they don't have a spawner. Yep, these guys. You know, if we light this one up, <laughs> then we're good. Yep, <laughs> now we can run. So still there are two creepers which I have no idea where they are. Hiding somewhere probably. But let us check the loot. Powder snow. Cold silverfish shard. Don't know what that does. Actually, can't we just vein mine the barrels? Yeah. Nothing super ravager. Okay. A beehive is nice. Oh, creeper. Don't die on the loot. Yep. So we don't need arrows. I guess we don't need the gold. Not the stick. Not the boots. Pumpkin pie is nice. Some decent food. We don't need so many candles. Especially the pink one. Oh, some decent food. Carrots. Chicken. Holy. Uh, we take you. Uh, if we have farmer's delight, which we do, that's great. Uh, we can have tons of good food. Also, on the map, uh, you might notice more dungeons. I am back at the base. Uh, there was supposed to be a bonus bee or something up there, which uh, by the time I got there, he despawned. But we have so many things to do, so let us get started. First things first, as a byproduct of washing gravel, you get iron nuggets. I have a feeling that is the mechanic of create itself, so maybe we were not supposed to get it. Yeah, you see, I got tons of nuggets. Tons of nuggets is not very important. What is important is that we need to make ourselves a hammer. And in order to make a hammer from tinkers, we're going to need a tinker's anvil. Last time I kind of noticed that it has to be an alloy, hence we're going to make it out of invar. It's cheap. Three blocks and three ingots. That's good. Oh, the block itself, not really. Oh, it's from Thermal Expansion. Okay, I take it back. I like Thermal Expansion. There is also a hammer mod, but in order to make a good hammer, we're going to need netherite. And honestly speaking, I have no idea how to get netherite. Not yet. So, three blocks, tinker station, and some seared bricks. We have the anvil. So, you need a tough tool rod. Oh, it's the same as the old version. That's nice. We have a decent supply of gold, so let us make a few more casts. Thank you. Thank you. I have a feeling, considering the fact that we have Invar in it, let's make it out of Invar. But we need more Invar. Also, Invar can be a very garbage material, but I don't really care. I just want a hammer in order to clear up the place. Also, we were out of fuel. So the head is out of Invar. 
I don't really think much has changed in the new Tinkers, so if we make some of the heads out of obsidian, it should be more durable. It's just that I'm not really sure if the old trick of making obsidian in the smeltery works. I didn't want to do that. It does work. We get obsidian. So the old trick with obsidian works, it's just that you can't make parts out of obsidian. But we have obsidian, and at least we can use it in order to make an enchanting table. We have slimes. Even if we didn't, uh, we could have used coagulated blood. Ladies and gentlemen, our first hammer. I have no idea what it does. I was hoping for a bit of magnetic, but that didn't happen. But it's good. I'm happy. Also, these are the hammers that I was talking about. It's from a mod called Just Hammers. The first one is stone and it's probably really garbage, but it does mine a 3 by 3 by one area. <laughs> so same as our hammer over here. The problem is that the good ones, which do a 5 by 5 by 3 are quite expensive. You need netherite. So there is an auto hammer, which doesn't need any power. It just works. And it's awesome. There are actually different versions and we can go as high as diamond and... Actually, we can afford it now. Let's try it. This is gold. And as usual, I do have inventory management issues. And here is diamond. It does have an input and an output slot and I haven't figured out how to rotate it. Maybe we need a wrench. The crescent hammer? Will it work? Yes. Okay. So we just wrench you. That's decently fast. And it's for free. I like automation. Okay, I have been thinking for quite a bit. This is called stone block, but essentially, this is a sky block, right? You can call this create, but this is saving. This might be from FTB stone block companion, but it's still hammering. So it's ex nihilo. We have done so many sky blocks. We have done so much sifting. We have done so much ex nihilo. It's boring. Let's go with something different, which I have never ever tried it. Chickens. The issue is that I don't really know how they work. Uh -huh. What one? They do drop nice things. Anyways, I might not know how the chicken mod works, but obviously it does start with chickens. We got one chicken spawn egg from the dungeon, so I spawned the chicken. The first child suffocated in the wall, and well, now we have a few chickens. The second one survived. But before getting into chickens, it seems that there are a few things that we have to do. Which yeah, the hammer is great, but it's incredibly slow. We need to start making the crafters from create that is required for some recipes for the chickens and therefore we're going to need brass. Making brass using create is a pain, but thankfully we have immersive engineering. So we're going to do that in an alloy kiln. So it's just some zinc and copper. Easy peasy. Oh, and by the way, if you're struggling with food, like me, this is going to be your best solution. Make some phyto grow, grow some wheat and make some source berry rolls. They're amazing. I should have more wheat. Yes. I mean, look at the amount of saturation. And since as a byproduct you get some seeds, you can breed your chickens. Another very wise decision that we can make is that we open these. And hope for the best. Okay. Wasn't the worst. Cookies! The alloy kiln is going to take care of brass, but we're missing one more thing. And that thing is nether quartz. How do we get it? We need to wash soul sand. The problem is getting the soul sand. It's relatively easy because you just need to hunt some sand and you will get soul sand. But for the first one, there is a trick. It's according to the quest book. I'm not that smart. Apparently what we need is a mixer, a basin. We have been killing some mobs, so we have some mob souls and then one piece of sand. So water goes in, sand goes in and the soul. Start working. I need to rotate faster. That is perfectly fine by me. You're create. You're always weird. And I literally need only one piece, so I don't care. And mob soul. Thank you. Very kind. We have it. Perfect. So after a bit of remodeling, I think this should work. If we put sand, we should get soul sand. If we manage to automate the chickens and I get resources, automating these things are going to be a piece of cake. Because as it stands, I'm not getting that much resources. Yes, we have quartz and gold. We also have some brass. And I guess for making the crafters, that's all we needed. And obviously some paper, but that's easy to get from Farmer's Delight. I'm not really sure if the stress capacity is going to be enough or not, but worse comes to worse, we're going to disconnect the rest of the fans. But I believe something like this should work. Sorry. Let us try with the chicken. Log chicken. Oh, I need more logs. I don't really think it has to be stripped, but since we started with stripped, we go with stripped. I think if there was a stress problem, they would have let us know. But yeah, it's going to be fine. Oh, it makes new sounds. Nice. Do we get a spawn egg? Thank you. 
So now that we do, let us also make a flint chicken. The thing is, if we combine flint chicken with log chicken, we're going to get coal. It's like agri-craft, but with chickens. It's a very weird idea. Cause yeah, you might notice, they have stats. The way that I understand everything is that now we need to start making a breeder. So that, you know, they start making babies. That requires some hay bales. That should be almost enough. So let us see how it works. Uh, do you have a GUI? Okay. Do you need seeds? Probably. Oh, <laughs> they have curtains. <laughs> that was funny. There's also a chance. 20% chance. So it's not great. Also, judging by the fact that we have to improve the stats on the chickens, we might need a few more breeders. Okay, we got another log. Same stats. One thing that I should have checked is that if you're a log chicken, what do you give me? Oak. No spruce. Is there a spruce chicken? No. Oh, coal chicken. Nice. I think we should get an extra breeder. Do some experiments. What I want to know is that if we have two log chickens inside and if we breed them, are we going to get a chicken with a better stat? We have a new baby. Growth 2, gain 2, strength 2. They just copied agricraft. Why would you need strength for a chicken? Is there like a foxweed or something? Oh, hello. Drop something. We have another baby. Okay, that's actually good. So we don't need the parents. We go with the babies. Okay, so let me breed a few chickens and see where we stand. I'm not done with breeding chickens, but I just wanted to mention that this is a ridiculously overpowered mod. These guys have been breeding for maybe like 10 minutes and it's already 10, 10, 9. And we also have an iron chicken. The iron chicken is a combination of flint and bone, but the most important one that I want is redstone, which is a combination of sand chicken and red chicken. Sand chicken is easy peasy, it's just sand. But red chicken is red dye. I guess we should be able to waste some bone meal. Do we get any poppies? That's not great. Why no poppies? I think you don't get any flowers, but that is perfectly fine. Do you know what we can do? Floral fertilizer. Botania. We just need one red flower and that's it. Nope. Oh, the textures have changed. That's nice. We didn't get any red. I'm an idiot. We have beetroots. That gives you red. Never mind. I'm sorry, but this is so stupid. This guy is a 10 10 10 log chicken and look how fast he's making logs. It feels like you're cheating. Somebody suggested that I use this mod in the comments and I was like, eh, that's not going to be a great idea. It was. We have our red chicken, sand chicken, and I guess after breeding it for a few times, we're going to get redstone. Yeah, you see, coal is also 10 10 10 and it gives you three every time. Wow. I just realized you can put more than one chicken inside the pen and this is the result. So technically speaking, we just need like one or two pens for each resource. Anyways, those are basic chickens. Uh, let us get some advanced ones. Uh, we need green and yellow. For all of your dying needs, Botania is the best. Because you just need one petal, then you get a tall flower, you shear it, you convert it into more petals, and you plant it. And rinse and repeat. As much as you want. And it seems there is no longer a pestle and mortar, you can just convert your petals into dyes. What are some of the chickens that we want? Nether quartz is first. This is called advanced chicken breeding. Or manufacturing apparently. Oh, another one. I don't want to dig. I'm not doing this in order, but we also need the green chicken. Thank you, thank you. And finally the yellow. So what is going to happen is that redstone and nether quartz are going to give us the glass chicken. Uh, let's take a redstone one. He's 10, 10, 10. I'm putting them over here. Also, since one of the parents is 10, 10, 10, I guess the child is going to be amazing. Not really, it's growth one, gain one, strength one. But another chicken that we need is gold chicken, which is ironically iron and yellow. Iron is also 10, 10, 10. Yes, we have a glass chicken. Now I'm just waiting for gold. Yes, we have the gold. If we combine glass with gold, we get diamonds. And if we mix diamonds with cactus, we get emeralds. Also, another thing that I wanted to mention is that it does not cover all the resources. For example, there is no uranonite or lapis, even though we have lapis blue, which only gives you blue dye. Also, some of the higher tier ones are not great. For example, gold gives you a nugget. But at least we will get netherite, which reminds me, we have to combine cactus and red so that we get the cocoa brown chicken, which cannot be crafted. That with glowstone is going to give us nether wart and obviously eventually cobalt and ender pearl. Yes, we got diamonds. That means we should be able to mix it with green and get emeralds. Wait a minute. Glowstone is yellow and... Oh, quartz. My bad. A wrong one. We got another diamond. 
This is going great. Chicken breeding itself is going to continue for a while and I will do that in between the episodes, but I thought we we're going to dedicate this room to our chickens. Look how stupendously overpowered they are. 48, 48, and you get the gist. The issue is that I'm out of wheat and I cannot make fertilizers. Cause you get it from Niter and getting sand by sifting and hammering, it just takes a very long time. But now that we have a chicken which makes us sand, it's gonna be easy. Oh, and by the way, uh, we got the emerald dude. And it was on the first try. Also, what the hell are you supposed to give me? Yeah, you already gave me the emerald. Now we want you to give us ender pearls. Oh, and yes, we also got nether wart. Sometimes you get really lucky. First try, we will have access to ender pearls. I thought to myself, breeding chickens over and over again is not fun. So I got all the chickens that I wanted and we have a room for them. We are going to think about storage and decorating this room more, but for the moment, I have some resources and that's great. You see, netherite nuggets. We also have blaze, glowstone, ender pearls, cobalt, ghast, nether wart, and obviously coal, gold, iron, sand, nether quartz, diamonds, emeralds, redstone, and wood. This is actually going to open up huge doors for us because now we should be able to get power. I mean, yeah, there is a lapidary dynamo and if you burn diamonds, uh, you get 500,000 RF. Oh, and by the way, I was AFK for the chickens to be 10, 10, 10, and somebody dropped these on me. I think it was a bee. Oh, and I got another stick. Okay, that gives us, wow, 42 netherite ingots. We can make the base out of netherite. Not that it really matters, but let us get an upgrade. Yes, perfection. I love this armor. Although now that we have access to a decent amount of resources, I can try something that I have been wondering since the start of the mod pack. I think we are going to need netherite, gold, and diamonds. I want to make this stupid hammer. And it's not very cheap, believe me. But I guess cheap is relative. For us, it's cheap. Also, I should really think about some sort of an applied energistic system or refined storage, because I'm incredibly lazy to craft. Uh, the issue is that there are no Certis Quartz chickens, and uh, I think we have to grow the Amethyst. Then again, maybe not. It has to be done through sifting. We will see. <laughs> but one stupid problem at a time. Today we got rid of resources. Next episode, we think of something more fun. So you need to make... Oh my goodness. Yeah, I need way more gold. So how does this work? We make the impact core, then we do the reinforced core, like so. Then the reinforced impact core. <laughs> okay, they have weird names. And the destruction core. I think it should have been called destructive reinforced impact core. Oh, and you need the uh, tons of netherite. We have it, right? That's eight blocks. Okay, it's enough. If I'm not wrong, this is going to mine a five by five by five area. Yeah. Holy, I need a torch. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for the suggestion with the chickens. Till the next one. Bye bye.